we have some rough edges from uh, where we drilled that off. Some of them are a little bit bent from separating them. So what we're gonna have to do first is we're gonna have to go around and straighten that back out and hammer and dolly everything. And then after it's hammered and dollied, we're gonna use this cordless drill with some 50 grit sandpaper. Now an air uh, grinder is gonna work better, but uh, you know this will work as well, just take a little bit longer. Then we're gonna go along and grind all those smooth. There's a little nugget left from the weld. And then we're gonna come back with some 50 grit and grind some of this rough, this rust off. Okay, right here, there's that piece left right there. Hit just that piece. If you'll notice right here, there's a few places where you know, we was taking it off, we ripped the inner wheel house. There's a few holes. Now, if it's a big hole like this, we can actually weld that from the back side, so we don't need to worry about that. Same with these. The panel goes under this, so we can use that for our spot weld locations. But there's just some different areas that'll need to be cleaned up and uh, welded. Notice right here, we got a bad spot we've got to fix. And the panel goes over this, so we'll, we'll probably just go ahead and weld all these up so we have a, you know, a flat, solid surface. If uh, the panel went on the other side, we could leave some of those and use that for a spot weld location. But that's what we're going to do. And also, we have to grind all these to metal anywhere we're going to weld. And sometimes you can use adhesives also, and that has to be with a 3M anyway. The adhesives that we use require that the metal be uh, bare metal. So anyway, we're going to grind these, weld what needs to be welded up, grind our welds, and then we'll start installing the wheelhouse. Okay, now we've got ground and metal all the weld locations. Uh, now what we're going to do is make some repairs where we rip through the metal. But we want to be sure and leave these holes that's uh, left to put the, that we aligned it with because we're going to use those whenever we uh, put the subtracting screws back in. So for example, I'm going to uh, just start welding this edge. I'm going to trigger it. I'm going to weld a little bit and let it cool so I don't burn holes or burn through. Then I'm going to weld a little bit, let it cool. Weld a little bit, let it cool until that's completely solid. Then I'll have to come back and grind that off, and I'll do those for each one of these. 